Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Jay Simi D. You got your drink, you got your food, you got your wine, you got your blanket, is you on that couch, is you in that bed, is you ready? So let's get into it. Welcome to New York. I'm Soraya. And this is the Big Apple. I currently stay here with my brother who recently got accepted into college on a full ride at that. And I'm definitely a proud sister. But now that my brother is leaving, that leaves me with nowhere to stay. And really no family. Oh my God, what the fuck am I going to do? I literally have nothing but me and my dream. And now I got to put in that work to get the dream, right? Isn't that what everybody always says? You got to put in that work to get the dream. So yeah, I'm just trying to do that. Um, I'm going to make my dream a reality now, right? But I'm trying to figure out what is my dream and what is the life that I want to have and what is it I want to do. But now that I'm out here all alone, what do I do, right? I don't know. I'm going to have to kind of figure it out, right? Are you guys going to help me, like, figure out, you know, what I should do? Where, where should I go? Like, what's the dream? How do I get to the dream? Or... Is it all a thing that people just say to make you feel like you can do it? Or is it something that's really true and like people actually make happen? Because I don't know. Um, I don't really have family. I don't have a mom and a dad. I was left at a foster shelter with my brother. So we grew up in and out of foster care. And it's been a wild and crazy journey. So right now, since we are finally of age, we are grown enough to leave. My brother, like I said, I got accepted into college. And me... I just wasn't ever that college type of girl, okay? So school was never my thing, but I do get on the pole from time to time. As you guys can see, I love taking pole dance classes, so you definitely will see some more of that. But yeah, I'm just trying to figure it out and figure out who Soraya is. So welcome to the life of Soraya, and this is Soraya's Journey. See you guys soon. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. As I already said, it's your boy Jay Simi. If you are new here, what's poppin'? Welcome to the Jay Simi family. Okay, it's eerie. What's up, Simi Mob? If y'all already true people that's been here, what it is, what's up? We is back, we is back with a new LP. And I hope y'all excited and ready, because I am, because I'm ready to go ahead and get into it. So today we are here with Soraya's life. If you guys didn't see the trailer, I did post a trailer on my channel. If you didn't see it, maybe I should just insert it here. Okay, did y'all see that trailer? If you did, let me know down in the comments what you think down below. I know my editing ain't the best, but, you know, we working on it. We working on it. We working on it, okay? But this is our beautiful Sim, who is our main character, Miss Soraya Windsor. Um, if you guys, like I said, didn't see the trailer, then you guys probably won't kind of understand the story. Um, but I kind of talked about it. So, Soraya lives with her brother right now he just got an apartment well he didn't just get an apartment but he's had an apartment for a while in um, new york for a while um he's been waiting for his um, applications to come back from college he did get accepted to college with a full ride okay because our brother is what a genius <laughs> smarty pants yeah uh sarai is not so much that but anyway he got accepted into college so sarai has been living with him because they both were raised into the foster care system um, so they don't have like any parents and they don't know their biological parents. So you guys probably will never, we probably won't ever go that far into who their parents are trying to research, find them. If we do, then y'all will see and stay tuned for that. Um, but Sarai has been, and her brother has been through a lot. They have been from foster homes, from foster homes to foster homes with bad foster homes. They've had some good ones and they've had a lot of rocky ones. Most of them have been rocky and not good. Um, so now that they're of age and you know, they were able to move out. They moved out. She moved in with her brother She doesn't have a job right now She was like doing hair as you guys can see right here She does do like hair in the house every now and then just to get like money, but she doesn't have like a job on paper, right? Right so Sarai has like a day or two to get it together to get up out of her brother's apartment because he has to hurry up and pack and get on off to school because school starts soon. Um, I'm not sure what day it is in the game, but we will see once we get in the game. But if you guys are excited for this new LP of Sarai's journey, please leave it in the comments down below. So again, this is Sarai and her last name is Windsor. And then we have our brother Jamari Windsor as well. And again, her brother just got accepted into college. So today is Saturday. So basically she needs to, yeah, let's end the holiday because I don't want 
what if the, what did pirate steak come with you guys let me know down below because i don't know what do we have that for and what pack was pirate supposed to be in i don't know but anyway um so basically we have until sunday night to get up out of here because he needs to leave and be packed up i think he's gonna sell most of his stuff but like most of like his room stuff he's gonna keep like the stuff like out here like the microwaves and all that stuff we're probably he's probably gonna sell all this and this apartment is from uh zarela if you guys watch her <laughs> yeah, girl, i love me some zarela girl she's one of my favorite girls okay so we have to figure out what we're going to do um i don't think my sims has any doors so let me put those down because i don't know what happened to the doors that is um the apartment and it's again from zarela um on youtube and i think our patreon is just Z zarela yeah if not i'll link it down below so you guys can go find it as well but this is the cute little apartment we've been in here and sarai also sleeps in a sleeping bag um right here we usually just sleep right here behind the table but we have to put it up during the day because if not who's gonna be able to sit at the table so I think I'm going to go into cast and introduce you. If you guys can't see already, this is our brother. And I guess he's watching his favorite TV show, child. Um, he's watching some action and it's making him feel a type of way. And he is a fast food worker at, um, I thought it was at Popeye's, but um, I guess it's just like a regular fast food joint. He makes $16 an hour, but I don't, I don't know if our brother's going to keep his job when he leaves or not. Because he only works like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But they're early morning, so he probably is going to have to quit those for his uh, classes. So let's go into cast and let's see. I'm going to go over their traits, their outfits, and all the good stuff. So meet y'all in the closet. Miss Soraya, which is our main character. Um, also, don't mad my background. I didn't put in a background thing because I've been cleaning up my mods. As you guys seen on my community chat, if not, check there. Um, I was having some issues with my game, but I think I am almost fixed it all. So yeah, but this is Soraya. Her goal in life is to find her soulmate because Sarai kind of has like, I guess you would say like trust issues because she's so used to people saying, oh, well, we'll help you, you know, you'll be okay. And then getting into these different foster homes, it's been like an up and down thing. Like you find people that you think you're going to connect with or you have people who are cool one minute and then they switch for you the next minute. So she just never really had any like real love except for like from her brother, like her and her brother love each other. But aside it's like dating Sarai hasn't dated since like elementary school she hasn't dated in high school she didn't date much now in her adult years so she's kind of like a fresh piece of meat out here on the streets okay because my girl uh, ain't gave up no cookies to nobody okay so she is like okay anyway but she wants to find love um and she wants to find her soulmate wants to find the one uh wants to find and live a rewarding life with the one she is also a goofball she is a music lover and she's outgoing so she likes going out and she doesn't mind running up and meeting somebody and um yeah Sarah is just that you know she's just a um she's kind of like a broken hearted girl like let's quote Beyonce okay the legendary okay a broken hearted girl but this is her outfit you guys like this pink I, mean, I said pink this red um two-piece outfit with these nike shoes um i think something's wrong with my slider so maybe that's why her foot looks like that so y'all again don't mind me i'm still working on it um but yeah that's her those are her traits and this is one of her everyday outfits and then she has another everyday a formal wear athletic sleep party swim hot weather cold weather and yes she has the same shoes because they don't really have well she's never really had a lot of money to like afford clothes so we gotta work with what we got friend you know we don't have all that much money okay well Sarai doesn't her brother got a little bit of money um and then for our brother Jamari this is his everyday is this his everyday yep his everyday his other everyday which I thought was cute for school his formal his uh sports wear sleep wear party wear uh swim wear hot weather cold weather and it's just giving his waves are on swim okay and his goal is to be an academic uh what do you call it like an academic achiever so he basically wants to get a scholarship from university and get a job in his degree and he's also a genius as i said before he's a bro and he's also very tender so um i would say jamari is like the opposite of her like he's really sweet he's really loving 
um that's why he loves his sister like he don't play about his sister he gonna step back his sister okay he may look sweet and like a nerd and all that stuff but mess with Soraya, and he's on his way out the door, okay? He's gonna pull up on you, screw, screw, <laughs> screw, screw, we beat, okay? But anyway, this is Jamari, so he's very sweet, really um, nice, even though they've been through, you know, a pretty shitty a shitty life. Um, he doesn't let that deter him, because he's always knew he was gonna be successful, and he's gonna make something out of himself, and he knows that for his sister as well, even though she doesn't know what path she needs to go on, or what path she wants to go on, so... He just knows that he's going to have his job, that he wants his career. He's going to have his nice home. They're going to have families of their own. And they're just going to be okay. Like, even without being raised by anybody, like, with some sense. <laughs> Baby, they got some sense. Well, he got some sense anyway. I don't know about Sarai. She, she be, uh, she don't be rubbing screws together all the time. But <laughs> we going to see. Back home, so those, that is Soraya and that is her brother, Jamari. And this is our apartment in uh, New York City. Um, so today we really need to like um, find somewhere to live. Girl, let me back up because that's a little loud. We need to find somewhere we're going to live um, or where we can stay because, baby, I don't know where in uh, New York they would take me in at. But someone said, first, I'm going to the gym. So we're going to call us an Uber. Um, I don't even know how much. I think Sarai has her own bank account, but I'm not sure. We'll check later. Um, we're gonna go ahead and travel and we're going to go to the gym And if y'all see this little love thing with Brayden Ricks, I don't know who that is So we're just gonna say that's like a guy she used to talk to in elementary that they rekindled and baby They just talking right now. Yeah, they a little flirty, but we, he's really not gonna be like the main part of the story So we're gonna go ahead and go to the gym and I will see you guys once we get this gonna go in here Because Sarai is trying to get her body together. So a quick little workout won't help won't hurt us um can you come on in here girl and it's always raining <laughs> like please <laughs> why like why does it always have to rain let's get on this little uh machine i don't know what you want to call this child like the little climb master it's, i guess you could consider it like a stair master child what y'all call it <laughs> y'all game let me know if you play okay we're gonna put on our workout girl because we try to lose some of this booty child because <laughs> It's spraying wall to wall in this here short set, baby. And, uh, that ain't the look we trying to go for. Okay. Now, as I was saying earlier, I said Sarai did hair at home. So, I'm thinking, well, she's thinking that we're thinking that I'm thinking that you're thinking that we thinking that we thinking. Okay, let me start playing, y'all. We are thinking that Sarai is going to be a beautician in the near future. Um, because, like I said, she's already doing it at home. And that's kind of, like, what she's had to do. Like, she has to get her hair together herself. Brayden, what you want? I survive. Uh, Kayla Fleming has asked me on a date. Should I say yes? After he trying to rekindle stuff with us, he gonna ask us to go out on a date with somebody else? Yes, go for it. Because like I said, we don't want you. So, <laughs> yes, go out with Miss Kayla, girl. We don't mind, okay? But yeah, she's always had to like do her hair herself, you know, make herself look cute. Even though, I don't know if y'all peeped her nails on her everyday outfit, baby. Them things is chipped, toe up. Because we ain't had no money to go get them done, friend. So, <laughs> You know, the machines look a little rusty, child. Yeah, I think y'all need to uh, clean the machines. Uh, okay, y'all watching Netflix screens with nothing on it. Okay, well, that ain't none of my business. But we up in here pumping and working, child. And over here we got our little uh, old classes, as y'all seen in the trailer. If you didn't see the trailer, go back and watch the trailer and leave some love on the video. Okay. But Sarai likes to do pole dance classes, so we'll be here a lot of times. Um, she probably will get a pole in her house whenever she gets a house or whenever we find out what we're going to do, child. So we shall see. Okay, she done with this one. Can we get on this little, um, I'm going to call this like the little Pilates machine, child. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> the little stretcher. Baby, I don't know. Okay, can we get on it and stretch? Okay, y'all making a lot of noise and things and screeching. Can somebody get the W240? Bring the oil over here, baby, and oil up this machine, baby. The yoga class begins in 30 minutes. Ooh, should we take a yoga class? Girl, she look like she over here about to die. She like, I'm trying to be stomach. I'm trying to not be back, big back no more. Unbig my back. Unbig my back. 
And for y'all coming to comment saying, oh, Sarai's not big. Why are you talking to her like that? Because y'all know people be saying any kind of thing. It's just a joke, you guys. I know Sarai's not big, but we do want to lose a little bit of our thighs and a little bit of our booty. Okay? And we want to have a little... Oh, the lady, who you... She said, uh, excuse me, this is my machine, and you did not ask me, could you use this machine? And so I was just like, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ignore the haters and tone these thighs, okay? Lady, get away from me. What is her name? What was her name? A super group of the... Go on in there and teach your little class, baby, and go on. Going... Oh, she ain't even teaching class. And it's another machine over here, friend. Okay, can we get us a little glass of water? Because, baby, we did, uh, you know, break a little wig. Can I get a little water? Why should I have out the vending machine? Purchase snacks. Because I don't know if you can get water out of here, so. I'm going to just, we just going to get us some free water, baby. So, like I said, we ain't got much money, okay? Yes, drink that water, friend. Oh, you got to use the bathroom. Okay, here, we got one right down here. What the purple stuff mean in the toilet? Oh, that's funk. Excuse me. I, I need to potty for a moment. Excuse me, ma'am. Are you trying to use this stall? Because I got to go. Baby, we don't want to chat with Naomi. Get on in this toilet. Get in the toilet. Excuse me. Girl, is you going to use the toilet? Because you're going to pee your pants. Okay, go do stuff. Hey, how you doing? We doing all right? How you doing? Girl, what is this? I said portrait. Baby, who put this? We just gonna, can we put this on? The, let's put that right there. I was trying to get our cup, but where'd it go? Okay, oh, she hungry. Well, I guess we do need a snack. Can we purchase a snack? Lady, I'm trying to get us ourselves together. You just keep talking to me. Dang, I'm hungry. Just want a little peanut or something. Okay, what can we get? Anything healthy in here? Anything healthy? I don't want to work out. Then, oh, there we go. A honey and granola bar. Period. Give me. Let's eat that. Oh my god, it's already 4 o'clock. What the world? What you mean? Why you can't eat it? Let's put in inventory. Why you can't eat it? Hello? Okay, girl, let's just go home. So we're going to go home, you guys, and then we're going to talk to one of our friends we met on the internet. And, yeah, I'm going to see y'all when we get to the party. And we are about to talk to our online friend. Ooh, girl, can you sit down? And then we want to talk to our pen pal that we met, because we've been talking to her for a few weeks now. Um, it's, it should be under socializing. Chat with... Girl, what happened to our pen pal? Hello. Um. Well, we did have a pen pal. It's Lexi. Let's just send a text, girl. Because I don't know why she's not on the computer. <laughs> okay. I feel like my reshade is messing up. Hold on, you guys. Okay, hopefully I fixed it. So she sent her a text message, so hopefully she hits us back up. Um, Y'all, isn't this view so beautiful? Look at her brother. You want to play the game with your brother? Because, baby, we're not going to see you in a long time. Um, should we play Devil Man's Cry? What else can we play? Okay, let's play it. Because that seems to be the only game we can play. <laughs> Soraya, please come on over here. Let's play the game. Do we not have a trash can? 
Get all the way out here in the hallway. I'll do y'all a favor. This was called Dead Man Way. Dead Man Cry 5. Okay. Oh, ooh. Okay, y'all look light. Oh, okay. They get down with y'all. This is their, this is one of their favorite things to do, especially as children. They've always liked to play games together, whether it was outside, playing hide and go seek. Uh, what was the one you used to call when you used to ring Ding Dong Ditch? They used to love to do that, child. They used to TP people's houses on Halloween. Like, they for real, for real. Homeboys, homegirl. Like, that's my home. Boy, that's my home. Girl, like, they love each other. And I love that for them. But I'm just so sad Jamari is going off to college. Because, baby, we need somewhere to stay. And she did not hit us up. And she's our plan A. Because we don't have a plan B. Um, Can we just talk to her? Well, let's invite her over. Hey, Lacey, you want to come over here, girl? Hey. Baby, who's going to win this game? Because it's loud. And the neighbors, I don't, I guess we don't have no neighbors. I really don't know. Visit apartment. Because I'm sure they will be knocking and complaining to y'all. Because this TV is on. <laughs> Yeah, they got the sound bar on, okay? Y'all about to get put out. And he's like, I don't care, because I'm getting ready to leave. Okay, hey, Lacey, are you busy? Can you come over here, bro? I need more power. There's no such thing as failure for Soraya. <laughs> Period, sis. Lacey Lang will be right over. Period, Lacey. Hey. Oh, there she go. Lacey came on over here quick. Okay, wait. Hey. What if our brother had a crush on Lacey? Invite her in. I don't know, does he know her? Nope. <laughs> Baby. Deception? Uh, no. Hey, I'm Lacey, girl. Girl, Lacey, like, she done got punched. She got so much blush on, baby, don't make no sense. Look at here. Lacey, girl. <laughs> but that's our plan, hey. Um... Uh, wrong person. Hello. We need to talk to you, girl. Um, friendly. Let's friendly introduction. Even though when you said come in, that should have been the introduction. Okay, but she's cute though. She's got. She just needs some baby hair or something. Cause <laughs> I think somebody ripped them off. Um, excuse me. Can you come say hello? Can we give an introduction? Is anybody listening? Um, can we change the volume to low? Because maybe that's a little loud. She's just like, hey, oh girl, they are, she is cute. I just need her contour to just calm down just a little bit. Okay. So, Lacey, we need to ask you a question, girl. Uh, girl put this uh, this ghetto phone down. She's like, Lacey, I thought you, you told me about you living in a group home. She's like, yeah, that's right, girl, I do. Um, do they have any, like, oh, yes. legacies available? Like, how many rooms is there? She's like, well, it's about, I think, like, four to five rooms available and four beds left. Um, but you do have to, like, abide by some rules if you live with this group on, girl. It's like, she's not too strict, but she's a little strict. She's just like, rules. She's just like, yeah, girl, rules. And it's, <laughs> it can get crazy sometimes, but you just gotta do what you gotta do until you can, you know, get on your feet. Which is what I'm trying to do. She's just like, hmm, interesting. Are you hungry? Um, not really. I ate before I came. Okay. So, let me ask you some more things. Ooh, girl, those shoes are cute with butterflies on it. Uh, um, small talk. Let's, let's ask her about her career. I forget what Lacey does, but I think she has a job because one of the house rules are that if you live at the house, you have about 10 days to find your job. So, if you don't have a job, then you got to get back out of here Um, at the group home. And then friendly... Let's see, small. Ask what we. You know what? I don't think my girl ever had no uh tree either, baby. <laughs> we about to we about to have us a time discuss interest, okay? Girl, not you thinking about roses? Who you flirting with, friend? I think she had baby hair, y'all. It's really bothered me that a <laughs> baby hair gone. Cause what is this forehead? And she's just like, okay, well, if I come. You think she'll like let me have a place? Yeah, she'll let anybody have a place, girl. It's just if you want to follow the rules. But she's just like, okay, well, I mean, if you can do it, I'm sure I can do it. You can do it, girl. Um, just let me know if you want to come by and stop and look. Because she'll let you look and you can just, you know, 
make up your mind. Okay, well, um, let me get me like a quick nap. And if you're still here, when I wake up, um, and I'm definitely going with you to check it out, okay? So let's pull out our sleeping bag. I think I need to turn it this way for her to get in there. And then let's just take a quick nap. And hopefully she won't leave. <laughs> um, and Jamari, come in here and talk to Lacey. You know. Um, ooh, not wicked, girl. Oh my. Let's do a friendly introduction. Let's see what our brother thinks of her. Look at our acceptance. <laughs> Girl, y'all are so loud. Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at our little acceptance letter. <gasps> Magnetic blossoms. Why must Jamari converse have such eye-catching breasts? And why can't Jamari stop himself from trying to catch a glimpse of them? Ooh. Baby, how you feel? We got a sentiment with Lacey. Very attractive. Okay. Let's see what else we can ask her child so we can see if they get some more sentiments. I was just about to say, how cute would that be if they like hooked up? I don't know. Because like I said, our brother is really smart. So and he's about to go to school. So I don't know. Where's the get to know small talk? Okay, get to know and then ask her about her day. Yeah, I'll just be just a clicking. Small talk and ask about her day. Girl, y'all on this TV is so loud. So I'm like, I can't even, I can't even get my motherfucking stuff together. I can't even give me a nap. And I'm trying to go see about this place. And y'all in here with this loud TV. Girl, well, we do got neighbors. <laughs> Baby, you know what? Ooh. Accept her advantages. I mean, let, let it happen. Let the game happen, baby. <laughs> Girl, so I had to wake up. Look, she said nosy, noise. I can't never talk. Noisy neighbors. The blaring sounds of the neighbor's apartments are enough to expire in some your earned anger. Baby, we angry. Uh, pound on the door. Be like, well, y'all TV was there when y'all playing that game, so don't come over here knocking on my door. Well, we are. Oh, open up this door. I know you hear me. Oh, not you coming out here, Vic the Flame, out here coming out here talking. Jump to me. Uh, me. Where's the option to tell him, like, excuse me. Yeah, complain angry about this noise. Like, you are waking me up. I can't even get myself together, Vic. Oh. Oh. Now he shut the door in our face and went back in the house and kept proceeded to keep banning. Ooh. You jerk. Excuse me. Come out of here now. Oh. You know what, Victor? We don't have time to play with you. And don't. And don't. Okay, oh, not deadly, non deadly. Uh uh uh. Uh. Let's beat him up, Sarai. I don't know if Sarai can fight or not, but we got to find out. Girl, please don't tell me you can't. <laughs> what you mean you ain't got no room? Why you keep saying that? Complain about the noise. <laughs> she said, You stupid idiot. I just told you to cut that down, and you went back in there and disregarded everything I said. I'm sorry, you're right. I was a bit inconsiderate. <laughs> no shit. Oh. Okay, I guess we're not gonna be able to fight because, baby. <laughs> okay. We need to take a nap. We can't, we still can't take a nap. <laughs> because he got this music going on. Okay. Um. Let's come on over here and talk to Lacey and be like, Lacey, I'm ready to go because I can't even get a nap because this man and this music, I just can't. Oh, wait, what did he say now? Dizzy. Jamar can't tell if it's him or the rest of the world is spinning. What? Feeling bad. Tender Sims get sad when they were supposed to be angry. Well, what were you supposed to be angry about? Oh, she's a dancing machine? Okay, this don't got no sentiments. Okay, well. 
All right, Lacey. Um, Lacey. Ooh, she said, um, I'm trying to talk to your brother. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment. Lacey, bro, it's time to go, okay? Um, um it's stretching. <laughs> She's like, Lacey, I'm ready, girl, because I'm getting really tired, but I can't go to sleep. So, are you ready? <gasps> girl, now Lacey's trying to do his hair. You know what? We're going to go ahead and go to the group home, baby, because it's a lot going on. <laughs> and I'm going to see y'all when we uh get back from the group home. Okay, guys, so we are here at the group home, and this is what the group home looks like. They still have Halloween decor up. Uh, so, yeah, we are here. Um, we finally met Lacey here. So, Lacey, um, you want to give us a tour of the house? She's like, yeah, go on in. And the blonde head lady is actually the person who owns the um, group home. Okay. Um, let's go here. You're not trying to talk to some man. We got to go in here and talk to this lady. Okay. Go in here and talk to this lady. And what is this right here? So, look. Y'all, I told you I'm going through CC, so if y'all see something that look crazy or my game look a little crazy or they ain't doing something, pay it no mind, y'all. I'm still trying to work through some stuff, okay? No, she's going to bed. Wait, come here. Can I just control Pauline for just a minute? Because, <laughs> Pauline, thank you. Wait, don't go to sleep, baby. You're not, you're not tired. You took your little gym thing. Okay, come on over here. Come on over. Okay. Let's come over here and meet Miss Pauline Faust. We're just gonna call her Miss Faust. Miss PF. Okay. Let's do a friendly introduction because we are friendly. Okay. We might not trust people, but we still got a nice little personality. Come on. Let's meet Miss Pauline. Hello, Miss Pauline. How you doing? Just like Hallie, how are you? And where did you come from, child? Well, I'm a friend of Lacey's. Hold on, y'all. Let's talk to her. So she's just gonna have a conversation with Miss Faust. Girl, where are you going? Y'all will turn all the way this way to have a conversation. She's just like, I'm a friend of Lacey's. And she was telling me that you basically let people stay here, but you have some rules. She's like, yes, y'all, I have rules. So I really don't like any skimpy dressing, which Lacey has on their top, which is not very appealing. <laughs> and I've told her that several times. But, you know, it's really against the dress code. I really don't like it. Um, Good to know. Because, baby, we just had a lack of reception. <laughs> Okay. Let's give a compliment about the house. And... So she said, yeah, I have those rules. And you have about 10 days. And you have about 10 days from when you move in to find your places uh, to work. Because everybody here has to have a job and work, of course. And you know... <laughs> That's the only way you can stay here. Like, you have to have your money because I can't give you any money. I can't, I can only provide you somewhere to stay. But I can't pay your bills. I can't help you get a job. I can't do any of that. You have to want it yourself. And that's the way it goes here. And we do require you to clean up and stuff. Um, we don't, we don't like any drinking or partying. Anything like that. So, yeah. If you can agree to those, then you can stay here. Um, you can go upstairs yourself and look around and see if you can see a room that you like. If it's empty, then you can definitely grab it if that's what you want and you have until Monday to let me know if you want it or not because I always get people coming and I'm always saving people day by day. So you have to let me know. Okay, thank you, Miss Faust. I really appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. So she's just like, okay, well, let me go upstairs and see. And see if what it's looking like because this is one that's available. Um, I think this one's available. This one, I think, is Lauren's room. This one, I think, someone else lives in or somebody lives in these. And I think this one's available. I'm not sure. But let's just look. She thinks it's well decorated in here. Wait, where are you going? Watch a movie, girl. She just wanted to, so you know. Uh, let's sit on it. Let's see what it's feeling like. Is it giving comfort? Is it giving comfort? Just like, mm, it's okay. It's cute here. They have games. They have fish. There's another girl here. Let's meet Chantel. Let's say hi. No, let's just be nice. Let's give a respectful introduction. I was going to be funny, but 
you know, not everybody has a good sense of humor, child. Now, I don't want to offend nobody, baby. I don't want to offend nobody. Hey, what's your name? I'm Chantel. I'm Soraya. Are you new here? Mm, I'm thinking about it. Should, what do you think? Well, it's really cute here. Like, the point here is to grind it out and see what you like. I'm going to accept because I don't know. Wow, now she's crushing on us. Oh, not you crushing. Get, get out of here. I'm not right. This going to be the freak group home, baby, because, <laughs> baby, so I'm about to turn it up. Okay. Can we view the fish? Let's look at the fish. They got a ping pong table. Oh, we can play beer pong. Then she said, with no alcohol. Mm -hmm. I'm just talking about my business. It's really cute here. Okay. Oh, who's he? Oh, that's the guy. Mr. Brandon lives here. Oh, God. Maybe that's not a good idea. Um. Anyway, let's go down here. Let's go downstairs. Ooh. Can I grab a serving of this, Lacey? Of course. Help yourself. So what is that noise? Are they playing ping pong? Okay. Yeah, he's probably like her too. Ooh. Who this man? Outside. <laughs> Just standing here looking. Hey, how you doing? Oh, he got him a little manicure. Do he live here? I mean, because I'm trying to find out. <laughs> Let me give you a little friendly introduction. Okay. Oh, is this a speaker? It is. Okay. It's cute up in here or whatever. The little uh, Halloween decorum. Unsolved conflict from a bitter about someone nearby. Oh, was it about the dead man? Her old boo? Okay, can we not say hey? Girl, not Lacey coming out here in the road. Um, let's do a friendly one. Ooh, is that Lacey's man? Lacey, is that your man? Because I'm trying to find out before I start, you know, trying to fit some game. Hello, are we froze? Like, what are you doing? Lacey's like, hi, I have a new friend that I want you to meet. Her name is Sarai. Sarai? Where's she come from? Girl, she's from New York, but she's here she comes. Okay. Oh, hey, you must be Sarai. Yeah, I'm Sarai. What's your name? Um, I'm Tobias Bradshaw, but you can call me Toby. That's what they call me for short. I'm nice to meet you, Toby. Your tattoos are really nice. Um, I feel like we just gonna ask him if he's single. Like, let's just do it. Well, I just wanted to ask, um, uh, Toby, are you, like, single or anything? Because I just wanted to ask, you know. I mean, yeah, but what they got to do with anything? Well, I just wanted to ask, um, but anyway, how do you feel about the group home? I mean, it's cool. Like, I just, you know, try to go to work, mind my business, and stay out of her way. Who is her? Miss Fowl, you know, because she's real nice, but once you live here, it's a different thing. Oh, wow. Well, thanks for telling me. Well, I need to go home because I have a lot to think about and it's really late i'm sorry to keep you guys so long and lacy thank you for letting me come over but i do need to go home okay i will see you guys once we get home okay guys so we are back at home and this is where i'm going to end this episode so we have to think about before monday if we want to go ahead and stay at the shelter with lacy and the other people that's there and miss pauline or risk it all and just you know getting us a, t a tent and sleeping in it and hitting the road and just making it do what they're gonna do but i think we're probably gonna go to the shelter just to give it the like well not really the shelter but like the group home to see what it's gonna give um of course if it doesn't work out then so it's it, again this is sarai's life sarai's journey and you just don't know where it's gonna take you so i think that might be our next option of course you guys let me know in the comments what you think down below or should we like look at another place or should we just like you know basically just do it on our own or should we try to do it with our friend and you know because i don't know if lacy would lead us astray because we've never met her in person um like i said she was our buddy that we met during the paper um online but basically like in a little online chat y'all we met her there so i definitely want you guys to let me know what you think and are you guys excited for sarai's journey um also we're gonna think about in the next part since the lady did say if we do decide to move there what our career slash job is going to be because again i think sarai's gonna do hair but I don't know where we're gonna do it at or are we just gonna try to do it at home i don't know we shall see but i hope you guys enjoyed this first episode i know it's not you know too amazing because the first parts are basically like introduction to sims but and it's not a lot of gameplay but in the next one we will do a lot of gameplay and a lot of more talking a lot more interacting and a lot more 
just different things child and i will see you guys in my next one bye friends and don't forget to hit that subscribe like and leave a comment down below bye Sydney. Maybe I'm fine, ain't nobody fucking with me